Karen Ferguson days after a 3-2 loss this evening. Coach number four in the country, you played them tooth and nail. Break this one down for us. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm heartbroken for our kids. Um, played excellent. You know, we, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the top teams in the country. I think on the set piece, we um, took too much of a mental break, checked out a little bit when they put the set piece back in. Um, we're a little bit disorganized, and then they scored off a deflection. So, super proud of our body of work. I, again, um, we've got to learn how to win these games, and I think that's the next step for our team. We're, we're, I, I truly believe we're one of the top teams. I do. In this league, we just have to learn how to get the results. What did you make of the response for the team after the This is, I know that they were going to do that. This is, um, a team that won't quit. I mean, they're resilient. They're tough. They, they believe they can win. I believe they can win. So that's what they're doing. I didn't expect anything different. Um, you scored two goals against um, the number four team in the nation and brought them to two overtimes. Did you see any positives out of this game? Yeah, we scored two goals against the number four team in the country. <laughs> and I saw a lot of positives, obviously. I mean, I think we defended exceptionally well, we attacked well. I mean, that keeper made a big time save on Amina's set piece, right? Um, Gabby Kuzelis made a big time save on for them. I mean, this is an entertaining, high level soccer game for anyone to come and watch. So I'm not, uh, I'm upset that we lost, but I'm super proud. Um, disappointed, you know, heartbroken for our kids, but they're resilient. They're, they're, they will be fine. We'll train again tomorrow. We'll take Sunday off and we'll get ready again on Monday. You know, Coach, Justine Sari talks about tearing off the rearview mirror and looking forward to the next one. Is that kind of the philosophy you've got to go with now? Yeah, I always knew Justine was a great coach, yeah. a great woman, so that's really a good, a good way to put it. Um, you do have to have a short memory in sports, right? So that's what we talk to our kids about all the time is you can't live in the glory years that are behind you and you can't live in a loss that we, you know, that we just suffered. Um, they won't. You know, we talk about being pissed off for greatness and, and I think that's exactly what they're doing. You know, you had a press conference scheduled earlier this week, but the other things on campus kind of took precedent on that. Uh, any comment on what's going on with the new Interim basketball no, coach. No, and I don't have any comment on that at all. You know, my heart breaks for Tom Jurich. He's um, amazing, athletic director, visionary man, leader, um, and, and certainly I don't understand what's going on with basketball. I'm not smart enough. And it's an FBI investigation, so that's not for me at all to comment. Certainly, my heart's with Tom Jurich right now. He hired me, um, but he will be fine. Coach Justine Sarah, thank you, Coach. Thank you. That's actually Karen Ferguson, Deja. Thanks, Karen. Thanks.